Hello and welcome to the Z Hut. Well, a couple months back, I did an unboxing, review, and test of a LaVolta DC power supply, this exact one right here. Um, since then, it's gotten a lot of views, and I've gotten a few comments about there's not a whole lot of information out there about these. And uh, I've had a few people thank me for doing that video. So I thought what we'd do is do a part two and take the review a little further. And this time, why don't we open this up and see what the internal build quality is. So, well, let's just get right into it. And oh, if you haven't seen that other video, um, you look down in the description below and you'll find a link to that. And um, it's an unboxing, a review, and a how to use this video. But for part two, now we're going to open it up. Now there's one, two, three, seven, eight, six, seven Phillips screws. It looks like we got to take out. Now I've already broke them loose with my hand screwdriver. To speed it up, I've got my cordless here. And we should be able to get these out in just a few moments. Oops. Try not to strip them out. All right. Halfway apart. There we go. That's how easy it is to open this up. Let me get these screws out of the way. I do believe that's all there is that holds this on. Yes, it does feel like it's going to come off. There we go. All right. Here it is. Inside a LaVolta DC power supply. And look at that. Not as much in there as most people would think. Um, mainly, it's um, your transformer. Uh... I see there is a full bridge rectifier right there. Uh, I'm guessing these might be some kind of voltage regulators, otherwise transistors, because there's ways to use those with a voltage regulator as well. And, oh, uh, put that up there. I can see the relays down there. I knew there are relays in here because when you're adjusting the voltage up and down, you can hear the relays clicking on and off. But, uh, yeah, there's not a whole lot in there. Um, you can see here's the potentiometers for controlling the voltage and amperage. There is a adjustable one right there. Um, oh, excuse me a second. Uh, mm. Darn allergies are getting to me today. Um, there should be two more little potentiometers hidden behind this circuit board here. As you look at the front, right uh, right here, there's an adjustment. So if your, your current or your voltage is off a little bit from what's being displayed and what it actually is, because you can test that with a, an accurate voltmeter, you can adjust that potentiometer there to get it uh, right. That's pretty much about the only thing you should have to adjust on this. And actually, when I open this up, it was so close. I mean, it was off like 0 0.001 voltage, something like that. And the amperage was pretty much right on. I didn't mess with them. There was no no point to. So other than that, uh, yeah, that's all there is. The inside, there's a cooling fan back here. You got your switch for if you're using it um, regular house current or if you're using it 220. Here's your power switch. Um, here's your high and low switch. And uh, yeah, that's all there is to the LaVolta power supply. And I do have to say, looking at the inside there, um, the soldering all looks to be done decently. I don't see solder gobs all over. Um, some Chinesium stuff. Uh, <laughs> I swear I've opened it up to look because it ain't working right. And it looks like a five-year-old kid soldered it together and 
Well, I hate to say it, and there's a good chance that it probably was soldered together by a little kid in a basement. But um, this one actually does not appear to be too bad. And remember, um, if you're looking at any power supply, even if it doesn't say La Volta, if it looks, the front looks pretty much the same as this, just minor cosmetic differences, the inside's probably going to be identical because they don't um, respect our patents and they just clone stuff and a whole bunch of companies will make the same thing and they put their own brand on it. And you open them up and the only difference is nothing except the outside casing. They'll change it a little so it doesn't look like what one of the other factories is making. All right. Um, well, I think we can wrap this up. There really isn't anything else to go over. I just thought since um, this video is getting so many views and lots of good comments and I got to thinking, well, you know, we might as well open this up. So you can check that out. So, all right. Well, um, I would like to thank you for joining us here at the Z Hut today. I hope you have a great day. And remember, have fun playing with your power supply. But just don't open it up yourself unless you really have to to fix it and make sure you know what you're doing. Hope to see you here again later.